tries to grab my bag. My bag was around my shoulder here like this. He's trying to grab my bag and I'm holding him back. I'm like, no, para, ma, para, rapaz, para, motherfucker. Para, mofo, no way, man. And he's trying to get in. He goes, I'm done with pistola, I'm done with pistola. Like, what's that? That's your finger, that's your hand. You don't have a gun. We'll get to that later. Now I've got some other nastiness to fight against. Well, the tax, the dirty diesel issue through the hole in the tank where the gas gauge goes, I was able to pull out a liter of uh, diesel and it is, it is dirty, really dirty. In comparison to a uh, little bit of diesel that I had on hand to clean winches and everything like that, it's clean. The difference is pretty obvious. So I'm just gonna pump out with this little hand pump siphoner thing that I bought at the Chinese store. I'm gonna pump out as much diesel as I can and then we'll go from there. Damn it, I got diesel all over me. Ugh, it sucks. My friend Dave, the mechanical engineer, had pointed out to me the dirty diesel and said I had to empty my tank and clean it. I ended up taking out about 70 liters of that diesel that's black, gray. Ugh. Now there's a little bit left. I don't know how much how long I'm gonna get the rest out. There's no way to access the tap underneath the tank because it's fiberglass thin. So I open everything up so I can get down there. Meanwhile, I checked on my batteries and my batteries need some water. So I went and got some distilled water. I'm gonna fix that up too. And uh, figure out a way to drain my tank, maybe directly from, huh, I gotta figure this out. This is where I went to look and see if I could reach the bottom of my tank, but I can't. There's a, it's in, encased in fiberglass, so I'm gonna fill up my batteries with water, with distilled water, because uh, they're drying up a little bit. And since I opened this compartment, which is a real pain in the ass, I might as well take care of the batteries while I'm down here and check things out. Well, it's getting dark now. I think I finished my project for the moment. I'm just gonna drain the rest of the dirty fuel through the line that goes into the pre-filter and keep cleaning the tank with um, new diesel until it's clean, I guess. Whew, this project's not over, but tonight is time to go chill out. I wake up almost every night and can't sleep for a few hours. So I try to make good use of this time by working. It's late in the night, I'm an insomniac, I can't sleep. But I think I drained all I could drain from the fuel lines in here and tomorrow I'll pour in some of this clean diesel into the tank and wash it out a few times and perhaps that should do it. I then went on to replace my primary filter. Normally you're supposed to lubricate the seals with diesel before you put them in place. But this is just for tonight. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll get ready for this uh, little story. When I was at the hospital, I had to have a catheter put in me first night because I couldn't uh, control my bladder. I couldn't go pee. And uh, I was looking at all the tubes and stuff and I was like, man, when you're done with that, can you give it to me? And they're like, no, it's not sterile, but I'll get you a new one. I said, I think I could use that on my boat. And check it out. I can use it. Man, this is pretty handy. I got another one, but right now it's helping me bleed the uh, dirty fuel out of it. It looks cleaner, man. Well, it's almost clean. Uh, I just need to replace the secondary fuel filter. Man, that catheter set is working out perfectly. I knew it would. Not bad, huh? The catheter set. I knew it would come in handy. I just removed the uh, secondary fuel filter. Wow, disgusting, man. It's a good thing I changed all this. This is much better now, huh? Almost there. The fuel looks pretty clean now. I just replaced the um, secondary filter. Now I'm putting about 20 liters of fuel 
in the uh, fuel tank and I'm gonna pump the filter full of uh, diesel and try to keep as little air as possible in the whole system and then I'm gonna start her up see if it, I need to bleed the whole system again but uh, let's see what happens Virgil, the injectors. I don't know if they seem purged. I don't know if they seem purged or not. I don't know if there's enough fuel in the system. But small's not starting up. I did not do it right. I loosened the wrong bolts. I verified by watching an old episode of Winded Voyage where the French mechanic showed me how to do it. I just have to loosen the bolts on a few lines, then turn over the motor for a few seconds to push the air out. Then I retighten the bolts on the fuel lines and see if Simone the engine will start. And she did right away. I was super pleased. Simone was roaring. And later, I lowered her down to a purr. The engine heats up the hot water tank so that night I could take a hot shower. I settled with a movie on Netflix that my son signed me up to, and I melted the last of my dark chocolate I brought from Switzerland with some butter. That, with bananas I had left over, was a luxurious treat. Later, I went with Wendy to the office that makes ID cards. She needed it for administrative purposes like doctor's visits, a phone card, etc. And then, on Saturday night, I got a good story to tell you guys. Saturday night, went out with my friend Esham, his girlfriend from Belgium, and Edder, and his girlfriend from France, and uh, we hung out for a while, had dinner, and then I said, let's go to Broku, to the bar called the Toll. And we go there, we have a few drinks, it's fun, then we go, let's go to another bar I know. It's called the Bar Florida. And this is all in Bella Vista. A neighborhood that I know pretty well and it'll be cool there everybody knows me and stuff so I'm there we have a few drinks too many drinks Brooke we walk out of there actually lose my step and fall on my ass my hip can take it we're walking home slowly down the street still in Bella Vista and all of a sudden I see something out of the corner of my eye I'm like what the f these four guys come and ambush us man they had like bandanas on and stuff and three of them go to my friend Edder who's Cape Verdean and his girlfriend and he start like you know screaming and stuff and one guy comes to me and he's like get me start grabbing me he tries to grab my bag my bag was around my shoulder here like this and he's trying to grab my bag and I'm holding him back I'm like no para ma para rapaz para ma para mofo no way man and he's trying to get it and he goes I'm dumb pistola I'm dumb pistola like what's that that's your finger that's your hand you don't have a gun and finally, like after a few seconds, they just kind of backed off and stuff. I'm like, God damn it, no way! I'm gonna give them my bag. I had my 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 uh, my cell phone in there. I only had like 15 bucks. You can steal that. I don't care. I don't want to lose my. I just don't want to give in to those guys and stuff. And they split. So we figure, uh, me and Ed are figure because we spoke Creole and he's from, you know, he's Cape Verdean and he's pretty pretty built. That they figured out who we were and they they let us go. And uh, we walked down the street, and, and that was it. Man, what an adrenaline rush that was, man. I haven't felt that high and stuff, and I felt like, I don't know what it was. Maybe it's my new hip or something, like bionic self. I was just like, motherfucker, you're not gonna mess with me! And stuff, and I was pretty proud of myself because I defended myself, because usually I'm kind of peace and love and cool diplomacy, and oh, here, take my money, and stuff. But this one, no! So there you go. There's more sharks on land than they are in the sea. Motherfuck pirates are on land more than they are at sea. And you know what? To the credit of the Cape Verde and Mindelo, this is the first time in three years that I got mugged or jumped or physically, you know, harassed. That's pretty darn good. One time in three years. So, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. There's never a dull moment in Cape Verde.
It was great to have you aboard on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You'll really help us navigate better. Me and my boat Galapin promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. <laughs>